Hi, well, folks, how's everybody doing this afternoon? And welcome to another episode of Rob's West Virginia Bass Fishing. And today, this afternoon, I'm fishing at the uh, creek at my house. Um, I know I just did a video here recently, but uh, I've been dealing with an infected tooth here since uh, Tuesday. I finally got into the dentist yesterday, and uh, well, he looked at it, it's going to have to come out, and they referred me to an oral surgeon, put me on antibiotics, but uh, I just started on the antibiotics yesterday after I left the dentist, so I'm hoping they take start taking effect soon, and I'm not so sore, but uh, it's not looking like I'm going to get to the surgeon until June the 8th, unless somebody cancels out, so I, I, that's why I'm here fishing here today, I'm at home, and I really didn't feel up to actually going anywhere, I'm hoping by time tomorrow rolls around the antibiotics will be fully kicked in and I'll feel better and then I may actually go somewhere else tomorrow but for today I'm gonna to fish here at the creek at my house uh, got my trusty bitsy minnow tied on uh, uh, strike king Ned rage bug Bama crawl colored on one of the new uh, strike king tour grade weedless Ned rig heads. I'm trying the weedless one for the first time today, so we'll see how that works. And then uh, this rod here's got a Panther Martin tied on. But uh, my favorite creek lure's always been this Bitsy Minnow, so uh, we'll try that first, see how that does. Oh, I had a bite on the first cast. Thinking maybe with this stained water, I should probably switch colors, but it did, I just got a bite, so we'll see. Water's only 52 degrees. Uh, it's 58 degrees out here. Got a bite again. It just bit two bites that time. I don't know why they're not hooking up. bass on the dead rig. Woo! My first fish on my new Hank Parker mock smash combo and got me a little bass on my weedless Ned rig. I think this might be a large mouth. I can't hardly stand up on this daggone creek bank. All right, now I got him. Here he is. Oh, God. 
gosh, I'm gonna fall in much of this ledge here. <laughs> Little largemouth. You don't find very many of these in this creek. Right in the corner of the mouth. This old weedless. This is the new Strike King Tour Grade Weedless Ned Brig head with a Bama Crawl colored uh, um, Ned Rage Bug. And of course, my new Hank Parker Signature Series rod with the Mock Smash Reel. And uh, got me a little largemouth out of this creek. Ah. Oh. Stay on that ruler. Eight and a quarter inches. Man, I can't remember the last time I've caught a largemouth out of this creek. It's usually all, all spotted bass. But we'll go ahead and get him turned loose. If I don't fall in myself, there's not much to stand on here. All right, here he goes. Got it that time. Another bass. Second one on the, on the Ned rig. It looks like another largemouth. I think it is another largemouth. That Ned rig got head got him in the corner of the mouth again. Yeah, it's another little largemouth. A little bit smaller than the first one. That weedless Ned, Strike King Tour Grade Ned head got him right in the corner of the mouth. Another one for the Hank Parker Signature Series Lose Rod and Mock Smash Reel. <sighs> yep, that's a little large mouth. That's not a spot. Never usually known to be largemouth in this little creek, but hey. Eight inches, just a little bit smaller than the other one. All right, we'll get him turned back loose. I can't get real close to the water. There's not much to stand on here, so we'll have to do this. A sunfish on a Ned rig. <laughs> oh, that's funny. But it's, it's the biggest fish I've caught so far. This sunfish is bigger than both of the bass that I've caught. <laughs> oh, that's funny.
Strike King Tour Grade Ned Rig strikes again. Bama Crawl Colored Ned Bug, Ned Rage Bug on the Weedless Tour Grade Ned Head. This sunfish is bigger <laughs> than both of, of the bass that I've caught, I think. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Eight inches. Nah, same size as both of them. That's third fish, though. Two bass and a sunfish on the Ned Rig. Alright, this is as close as I can get to the water, so we're just gonna tell him goodbye. something that's not very big he got me another sunfish on, on this ned rig <laughs> oh wow Ah, uh, fish number four. All right, they're liking that rage Ned bug today. Probably about six inches long. All right, well, folks, I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. Uh, it's been a slow day. I only caught four fish down here at the creek today, and uh, my tooth's starting to hurt again, so I need to get inside, get some rest, get some Tylenol in me, and try to kill the pain in this tooth till the oral surgeon can see me. But uh, like I said, I caught four fish, those two little largemouth, which uh, I didn't even know there was largemouth in this creek. Um, I've been fishing this creek since 1995, since ever since I've lived here, and never caught a largemouth out of here. It's always been spotted bass, but uh, then I caught those two sunfish too, and uh, caught them all four fish on Ned rig. This is a uh, 16th ounce green pumpkin colored uh, Strike King Tour Grade weedless Ned rig head, and on it I have a Bama Crawl uh, Strike King uh, Rage Ned bug. And I've uh, been fishing it on my, uh, those, these are the first fish that I've caught too on this, my new lose outfit here. This is a uh, uh, mock smash spinning reel that I've got paired with a uh, lose Hank Parker signature series spinning combo, or spinning rod. And uh, it's a 6 foot 10 medium action with a fast tip. And uh, I've got it spooled with uh, high vis vicious braid. Uh, 20 pound test but I've got like the first six or eight feet of it colored with a black sharpie so they can't see it as well and then spliced to the braid I've got uh, 12 pound uh, vicious pro elite fluorocarbon and that's basically my basic finesse setup and um, like I said it was slow today I only caught four fish but uh, I like the way this new uh, weedless uh, tour grade Ned rig head worked uh, uh, so far, it's, a, it's the only Ned Rig system that I've fished that uh, so far, since ever since I've been using the, the Strike King's uh, Ned Rig system, I've got a 100% uh, 
hook to land ratio and uh so that's that's pretty good that's saying something but uh i hope you all like this video um if you're new to the channel i'd appreciate it if you could uh, give it a like subscribe uh give it a thumbs up and uh, let me know what y'all think and uh try to get out and get another video done as soon as i can and i appreciate everybody watching